I think it's fantastic because just going through and, and looking myself at, at the problems that can happen, it does seem to be just like really good horses and really good riders, just something goes wrong, whether the horse just reads the fence wrong. Sometimes it's, there's no idea what happens, but then if we can have the, f the fence that is safe, so for that odd occasion when something happens that is unexplainable, the fence can be safer. I think that's a massive thing for everybody. Yes, for me as a rider and, and a coach. Just generally how riders get hurt the most is if the horse falls on the rider. So then if the horse actually hits the fence and rotates and falls over onto the ground with the rider involved in that fall with them. So with this kind of fence generally the fence will collapse and it will fall right down and become a very low fence and then the horse, even if the horse still might fall, it will fall in the softer way separate to the rider. So generally not hurting either of them. What you're trying to do is you're trying to make what normally is a solid fence that doesn't fall down if you hit it or um, the horse hits it or something goes wrong. You're actually making them a little bit more collapsible so this rail can actually fall down when this device actually takes a tolerance and there's a small piece of metal here that'll actually break. So if the horse hits the fence hard enough, the rail will actually collapse down and fall away and then so acting a bit like a show jump really and making the fences a lot safer if there is um, something unfortunate happens at the fence. So that was, um, that was the second fence actually in the three star here last year and it was uh, a fence similar to this but a spread fence so a front rail and a back rail all of them the top rails were collapsible with pins and yes the horse hit the fence and actually knocked both the rails down and the horse pretty much just stayed on its feet and was not hurt and that could have been a very bad fall. I personally think over the next five years or so I'd like to see one star and above most fences becoming frangible, we call these frangible jumps to some degree I think. There's definitely some fences that can still stay safe with brush on them and with lower um, hard element and then brush on top. So those sort of fences at the moment I think are, are quite safe as well. But the fences, spread fences, these sort of fences, I think really over the next few years we should be getting mostly all of those fences frangible. Well we're trying to really encourage the end for the clubs and each state to get involved in actually buying and, and implementing these pins and that's what we're really trying to push now and get course designers to incorporate this into their designs. Yeah.